Okay, well, welcome to Lake El Gigikin, where we're conducting this uh, International Continental Drilling Program deep drilling of the lake sediments. And I thought it would be really important for you to understand why we're here. Uh, in 1994, I first learned about this lake from a Russian uh, geologist named Olga Glushkova, and she is in Magadan. And I was visiting her in 1994, and she showed me a picture of this of this lake. And she said she'd been here, and she said, "You know, we really should core this lake. There's probably a great record in here." And that was the beginning of my introduction to this 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 basin. And the more I learned about it, the more I became fascinated with the potential that this lake had for a long climate record. And so we took us several years of trying to get enough money. I had a little fifty thousand dollars to, which was about enough money to get here, but not enough to go home. Uh, and then we found some partners, and, we, and then six of us came here in 1998. We flew in the first week of May, and we literally just landed in the middle of the lake. Ironically, not too far from where the drill rig is set up, and we took our first cores. And it was from those cores in 1998 that we used as kind of a dipstick, if you will, of what was the potential. We used the, the, this, this was our proof of concept of what we might find in this lake. We, we literally had hardly a, a map of the bathymetry of the lake at the time. We, we really weren't even sure exactly how deep it was. We had some really crude maps, so we didn't know a lot in 1998. And it was from those initial cores that we finally gathered the inspiration. We realized that in those first cores that go back around 12, 13 meters into the, into the sediment on the floor of the lake, we were back 250,000 years in those cores. And it was astounding. We had no idea what we had discovered. And that, those wonderful cores then provided the motivation for what we call pre-site survey work to come back here to do this project. So we were here in 19, in uh, 2000 with a small group to conduct some seismic studies of the lake basin, to look at the geomorphology, to understand beach processes, to understand uh, the slope processes, and anything that would influence the depositional history uh, of, the lake, of the lake itself. So we did the pre-site survey work in 2000, 2003, and then started to develop our proposals for doing the work here. And I think one of the lessons that um, I think it's important for young students to think about when they are thinking about science, careers in science, I think what's extremely thrilling about being a scientist is the sense of discovery and to find something that no one else has found and and, and that, and that's partly what motivates me, of course, in, in what I do. But carrying out a project like this, a lot of this is about persistence and having a good idea that you can believe in and really trying to follow the steps and procedures. So pers if you have a dream or an idea, a good idea, just it, it's really important to be persistent. Um, there's going to be lots of obstacles, and we've had them, but the fact that we're here today and we've got this drill rig out on the lake collecting cores is um, uh, a lot about persistence and also uh, following through with developing a community that backs an idea. And so I think that's a really important lesson that, that I've learned and is that um, uh, that sense of discovery can really motivate you and drive that persistence. And I think that that's what makes science so exciting for me is that is I know we're going to learn things. We've already learned things in the last few weeks here in the drilling process that were new ideas that we really didn't have even before. So that, that sense of discovery is what really, really drives me in science. This is Tim Martin, 2009 Polar Trek teacher, talking with Dr. Julie Brigham-Gretty at Lake Elgigitkin in northeast Siberia.